think you're an expert of Fortnite? Do you know your difference between the tactical SMG and the compact SMG? Do you know the differences between Season 4 and Season 8? Do you remember when Fortnite first began? All of these questions and more are going to be tested today, ladies and gentlemen, in a 9 question mixture of trivia, question and answer, and death run merged into one map known as the History of Fortnite. I'm about to put my seasonal Fortnite knowledge to the test, having been playing Fortnite from season one all the way to the current day. I should be an expert, but the great news is you guys can play along as well. And each time we get to a question, you can choose, let me know how you do, and by the end of it, you can tell me if you got all nine of the answers correct, or maybe you didn't. This is going to be the ultimate test. I cannot wait for this. As always, it's so important if you want to support my videos, support my channel, spend two seconds hitting that thumbs up button. Let's see how many likes we can get on this video. If we hit 50,000 likes, I'll do another trivia question with you guys as a big thank you. So get hitting on that like button. Without further ado, the start game button is right there. I'm about to hit it. Let's play the history of Fortnite. And in we go. Rules, don't break signs. Have fun and enjoy. Oh, easy peasy. Not a problem. Question one. When was Fortnite Battle Royale released? Oof. 3rd of October, 2017. 26th of September, 2017. 25th of July, 2017. Now, it's important to know that Fortnite and the Battle Royale segment came out at different times. Fortnite and Save the World came out before Battle Royale. So I believe the general Fortnite game with Save the World came out in July. I'm pretty sure that's right. And then October, I'm pretty sure the game had already been out for a while. We had all the Halloween skins. So I think it's September. Man, question one, I'm already doubting myself. Well, I think it's September. So fun fact, the first ever time I saw Fortnite was a trailer on YouTube. Me and Claire wrote down in our like work diaries to play Fortnite the day it came out in beta for Battle Royale. We completely forgot about it. A few weeks later, started seeing YouTube videos, eventually started playing it, and here we are. This is my vote, ladies and gentlemen. 26th of September. Are you going with my vote? Have I made it? Wait for the boost. Oh, gosh. Drive. This is it, guys. Wait, I have to make it across before it even tells me if it's right or not. Alright, second attempt. Wish me luck. Hopefully it's time. Oh my gosh, congratulations. I'm not going to tell you how many times it took just to get over there, even though I knew the right answer. Anyway, question two. What is the rarest skin in the game? You know my collection of Fortnite skins is extensive, only missing a few, and probably missing the one that is on this list. Let's take a look. Renegade Raider. Well, I've got the pickaxe for the Renegade Raider right here. Codename Elf. Obviously the Elf skin uh, from the very first Winter Store. And then finally, the Recon Expert. Now, technically, if you count the number of days in the store, and the amount of players playing at the time when the store was live, I'm sure you guys know the answer. They're all extremely rare skins. I've got that one, got that one. I don't have Recon Expert, barely anyone does. This, ladies and gentlemen, is by far the, the right answer. That's right, hardest skin to get. This level is tricky. Oh, okay. When were impulses added? Ooh. Season 8, Season 2, or Season 3? Definitely not Season 8. Don't think it's Season 3. I think it's as early as Season 2. Only because in the classic LTM, which only has classic weaponry and items, I'm pretty sure it's based off of Season 2. And it's in there. That's going to be my vote. Oh look, an impulse. Are you kidding me? Have I got to land on there? No, what? A Control or nearly? Okay, all right. Congratulations! <gasps> Woo! Three out of three. I was worried. I was worried about that one. This is another easy one. I hope you're enjoying. I reckon some of you guys may not have got that. As an OG item, I remember when it came out, 
Fun little fact, we'll throw back to the video. No one knew how to use this item. It was like a ball that sent you flying and, and everyone was like, what do you do with it? I remember my update video, all I did with it was just throw it at a few enemies, let them bobble around a little bit, that was it. When people realized you could use it to throw yourself and use it aggressively, that's when impulses really changed the game. Okay. What was the first vehicle added? Oh, guys, what do you reckon? Shopping cart. ATK planes. Now, this is a really interesting question, all right? I just want to say, almost every other battle royale had a car in it, had, had a truck in it, had some way of getting around the map fast, not Fortnite. You built, you shot, that was kind of it in the beginning of Fortnite. However, Fortnite said in the frequently asked question section, and this is ages ago, we will not add vehicles to the game. We don't feel like it fits with the style of our Battle Royale game. That's why there's no vehicles in there. That was their original statement. Since then, we've had everything under the sun. It's just been absolutely nutty. But they, 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 they basically eased us in. They eased us in with a, with a vehicle that didn't let us travel that much faster, which we could have other people in a mess around with. And one of my favorite clips of me just laughing hysterically, you guys may remember it, comes from this. Definitely not planes, that's one of the most recent ones. ATK was actually, I believe, the second vehicle to ever be added in. Shopping cart was the very first. There we go, congratulations. What are we on, is that four out of four? We're smashing it, we've got everyone right so far. Hit me with another one. When was the launch pad introduced? Oh boy, they ain't making this easy. Okay, so it's OG, OG weapon. Back in the day, we had directional pads and I think vertical pads. Fun fact, and I'm actually really annoyed about this. I use those old, old jump pads, the ones that only sit in a very specific direction, probably once, maybe even if that, and I never really gave them a go. In the end, everything was collected into just bouncers or launch pads, and launch pads was this brand new thing that just flew you across the map, and it was awesome. I genuinely think, genuinely think, it could have been season one. The only reason I don't want to go season two is because I've just gone season two already, and impulses definitely came after jump pads. Season three is too late. I'm going for season one simply because we've had season two already. That doesn't look good. Doesn't look promising, but I'm gonna try and get to the end again, guys. I swear down, actually completing these courses is harder than answering the questions. Okay, here we go. Here we go. It looks positive. Oh, no congratulation message on that one. We have gotten every single one right so far. I'm lucky that I've been making content since the beginning. What was the first explosive added? There were loads of explosives. Grenade launchers, clingers, or remote explosives. So I think the question here is not what was the first explosives in the game. I mean, obviously, it's literally saying what the first explosive added. So I was a bit confused there, because I was like, well, the RPGs, the grenade launchers, they've been in there since the beginning. Remote explosives, I've got a cool story about this one. So I was actually lucky enough to see and use the remote C4 before it was in the game, probably about three or four weeks before it was even in the game. You may remember over a year ago, I went onto the stage, actually in San Francisco, and announced to the world, at, I think it was GDC, that they were going to be adding replay mode into Fortnite. It was an amazing experience, had so much fun. Zeke was actually on stage with, you may now know from doing a lot of presenting for Epic Games in the World Cup qualifiers, went on with him. Everyone at Fortnite was so, so nice. Um, so yeah, I actually got to see something early. Since I don't think I've actually seen anything early, like officially, maybe just need to get in-game files. Everything you hear and see in my videos is just from me or other people that find in-game information and try and work together to work out what it is. That's been in the game. That was added late in the game. This is a very OG added in weapon. I can't even remember when. Maybe season three, season two or three. Anyway, I'm gonna go for this as my answer. Wish me luck, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna aim quite high. Oh, almost directly through. No. I don't think I got it right. What, are you saying, what is the first explode? They added the grenade launcher? Yo, they had, I'm, have I just been bested? No way, I'm going on the internet right now. Am I being trolled? All right, I'm Googling Fortnite grenade launcher. Okay, Fortnite wiki. Best websites for stats, every update ever. Whoa, introduced in patch 1.6. So it was added into the game. What? 
the RPG was added in patch 1.6. But wait a second, patch 1.6 may have been the patch where they introduced Battle Royale. Patch 1.6 has arrived and patch 1.6 added in OG Fortnite. I mean, you don't get any more OG, ladies and gentlemen, than the OG Fortnite map. Look at that. A thing of beauty. Salty wasn't even named, Dusty wasn't even named, no one ever landed there in their entire life, nor here, fun fact. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that question was a little bit misleading. It was already with Fortnite Battle Royale when it came into the game, okay guys? Onwards with the quiz, how long does a slurp last? Oh boy, so a slurp gives you two health or shield, depending on what's the least, every second, with a maximum of 75. 75 divided by two is 37.5. So it's this answer here. If I had to say when it was added, I'd say season one. Yeah, it was introduced in patch 1.8. And fun fact, the introduction of the slurp was also the introduction of the OG, the legendary, the iconic Ghoul Trooper and Skull Trooper OG store. All right, 37.5, this better be right. Oh my gosh, get me up there, let's go. You smart, thank you. Two more levels now, not actually having so much fun, guys. If you haven't done so already, please do smash that thumbs up button. Remember, if we get 50,000 or even close to 50,000, I'd love to do another one of these. Or if you want to make me one, please go ahead and do it. I love being quizzed. I love being tested. And you guys get to play along with me as well. How many seasonal item store were there? Whoo! One, eight, or zero. How many seasonal item stores were there? So, let's just go back and say all seasonal item stores. We're gonna go with OG Halloween, OG Christmas, Easter. This is just seasonal, remember? Do you count like Valentine's Day or, or like Fortnite's birthday as one? Would you just cycle back to Easter, Christmas, I mean, Halloween, Christmas again? Well, that's only five. Oh, this is, this is a hard question, I don't even know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ignore zero and one for the simple fact that we've had loads. I'm just gonna give this one a go, guys. You're kidding me. It's not eight, bro. I don't understand the question. I can't lie. This question, how many seasonal item store were there? I mean, season one had Halloween and season two had Christmas, I believe. So maybe one? I can only sh assume it's talking about how many seasonal item stores were there in season one? We oh! Who support a creator code to you? Code Ali A! Let's go, baby! No, but seriously, shout out to this guy who actually put the map together. I assume he's gonna promote his own code. Oh, we haven't died. Hey! Congratulations! You know what? The map itself definitely could have been more lively, could have been more colourful. Hey, this is where you guys, your map creator, could come in and do something absolutely nuts and have like the actual items and the actual weapons there and throw questions out there. But for the very first Fortnite trivia video, I loved it and I knew I'd love it. Bit of parkour, bit of trivia, all mixed up to create an amazing video. We got the grenade launcher one wrong and we technically got the seasonal item ones, but the question's a bit iffy. We did really well. How did you guys do? Let me know down below in the comment section. If I do end up doing another one, you'll see it right here, obviously on the channel, so make sure you subscribe. You can check out more Fortnite videos on screen or down below in the playlist, linked in the description, which is every one of my videos, even date backing all the way to season one if you want to see that old school stuff. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow as always for another video. Goodbye.